Hey, my friends, what's going on? Kater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friends. So, pound that for watching this video. Pow! So, guys, reason I'm making this video today is a lot of people have been asking me a lot of tips on e-commerce, on Shopify specifically. So, I said, hey, here's what we're gonna do. Um, because on my channel, I cover many different things. So, I'm gonna cover, in this video, personally, I'm gonna be covering every week a video about Shopify. One or two that can help you because I see a lot of people are doing it, a lot of you need help. So here's what I'm gonna do in this video here real quick. My name is Kater, if it's the first time you're watching this channel. For you not to miss on any other video that I upload, there's gonna be a button below that says subscribe. After you subscribe, there's gonna be a little bell next to it. Just click on the bell, right? There's gonna be a little bell that pops up right next to it. Click on the bell so that you can be notified on anything that I post, okay? Now, Here's the deal, if you don't want to miss on any of the videos that I'll be posting, more likely on Wednesday. So in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about whether this is a question that I get a lot, a lot. Should I create a general store cater or should I create a niche store? Which one is going to be more profitable? Me personally, I mean, some people call a general store a flex store. You'll find different names, but a general store is actually a store where you can just market anything you want. Like think of it like Walmart. Okay, something for um, for just anything that you want. And then when you're talking about um, a niche store would be, let's go as far as Victoria's Secret. I mean, it's, it's not that niche down, but it's only female that's gonna shop in, the, in the Victoria's Secret. So it would be just niche down to a gender. So just so you can get your mind going if you really don't understand the concept. But let's get into it. What are the, what are the cons and what are the pros between a general store and a uh, niche store, okay? So we're gonna be talking about this stuff, guys. See, a general store, the reason why I think a general store is powerful, I think personally, anyone who's getting started, unless you already tested the niche, you already know what you're doing, you already have your campaign running, you already have a Facebook page, and you already know the market, unless you've already tested the market in the past, I don't think anybody should start just jumping into a niche specifically. Why do I say that? It's because, Right from the beginning, you're gonna limit yourself to what's possible, to the possibility of finding a product and make a killing. Now, what I recommend anyone who's getting started with Shopify specifically is to get. So we'll talk about the difference, okay? Hopefully you guys can see this. General, and yeah, I don't even think you guys can see this. Let me move it closer. Does it make a difference? Ooh, it's too white. General versus niche. Either my marker is too dark or it's too white. But anyway, we'll just we'll just keep it that way. We'll just say general versus niche. We'll leave it back there and I get a better marker next time. So the reason why you want to do a general store, what are the pros of a general store and a niche store? The pro on a general store, you can test. So number one pro you can test a lot of stuff. So you can figure out what's working. So you can spy on other competitors, see what they're selling. You can look at on the Facebook feed and see what other people are selling. What are making a difference? See, when you know the products that are making a killing, instead of reinventing the wheel, you can go out there and model after these things. Or if you see something come out on one of those websites like AliExpress or DHGates or anywhere that you can source your product, you find a, an item that's actually going crazy, you can test it on your store and you can make sell. Now, it doesn't mean that if you have a niche store, so let's get into a niche store. What is a niche store? Okay, a niche store is something that is specific to a specific niche. So let's say you go into the cat niche. So you're only gonna sell to people, cat lovers. So you're gonna sell like cat bracelet. You're gonna sell like, you know, um, the little bowl for the cats to eat. You're gonna sell, you know, clothes for cats and different stuff. 
or some people even have a pet store, which means you're only going to sell pet stuff. Now, let's say you had a cell phone case, would you go and sell it in a pet store, would you get sales? You will, you can, because when you're doing Shopify e-commerce, one of the things that you must realize is that 75% of the customer, of, of your prospects, as a consumer, they're gonna go to one page and they're gonna stay there. And if you're doing Facebook advertising, more likely you're gonna send them directly to the product page. Doesn't mean that they're always gonna go and scroll up your store and see what you got going on, right? Sometimes it happens, like I said, 75% of the time, the people will just go and buy exactly what they saw. But if you're building a brand now, long-term, you're building a brand, you wanna have customer, so more likely you know some of those customers will come back and if you build a list in the back end, some of those customers will come back. So with a niche store, it makes it a lot easier for you if you're gonna build a brand, right, with customers. So now they know, okay, if I go to this pet store, I'm gonna find everything for my pet, my dogs, my cats, that's all that I need. So they just know, okay, if I need something right now for my cat or if they, just want to check you every check you out every week if you're sending out coupons and all that stuff. So they can check out your stores and see what you have out there. But if they go to your pet store and they see that you got you know spandex, you got watches, you got all that stuff, then it's like oh, it's not just a, a, a unless you create section. But then people will have to go in and look into your website and kind of go deeply. And people don't want to go through all that stuff. So that's where a niche store. Can be very powerful but what i'm saying if you're just getting started in the beginning why limit yourself with a niche store why not have a general store where you can test out what's working i believe in scaling what's working okay scaling what's working don't scale something until they see it shows you potential like what happened with a lot of people that comes to me and say hey cater i spent 500 dollars i spent a thousand dollars in facebook ads on something that wasn't working. You're doing it wrong. If you wanna do it right, you don't wanna scale crap, okay? Don't scale crap. If you get a product, you spend 50 to $100 on it and you make no sales, why are you scaling that product? So that's why testing is important. Now, if you tell me, hey, Cater, I, I lose $500 on testing, that might be more of understanding than one product that you scale that wasn't making you money and you make nothing out of it. So, when you have a general store, you can test all those products, and then when you find a winner, you start scaling those winners. So the key, the goal, if you watch any of my training or any stuff that I put out there, let me give you one secret right now. The goal is to launch, 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 launch. Launch product and test, 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 test to find winners. Because every time I launch about eight products, I find two winners. And those winners, that's what you scale. So remember, you're gonna have eight garbage, eight product that you know people are not buying, or maybe you don't find the right niche, or maybe you don't find the right target. But you're gonna find like two of them that you can make a killing that are very profitable. You can scale those two to hundreds, even to millions of dollars, guys. Just those two products. So anyway, guys, that's what I normally share with you in this video. You know, should you do a general store or should you do a niche store? What are the the benefits, you know, with the general store, it's more flexible. You can actually target more people. You can reach out to more people because you're gonna be testing different products on there. On a niche store, is very limited, so you can only target a specific group of people. But it can be very, very profitable in the long term if you build a customer. If you acquire, you know, with customer acquisition, you acquire a bunch of customer, and now you can always email those people, you know, further stuff that you have in your store. And also for your email list, if you do a general store it's gonna be a headache segmenting your list. Which in the beginning, you don't even have to worry about that stuff. You just wanna make money. You just wanna make sell. But in the future, you're gonna to have to, if, you, if you're getting like a thousand, a couple of thousand sales a product, you're gonna to need to learn how to segment your list so that you can say, let's say you have someone who bought product A, which is a ring, and then you have another person who bought a cat product from you on your general store. So you don't wanna put those same people in the same bucket because they don't have the same interest. So what you would have to do is to go back into your data in the, um, in, inside of your Shopify, take all the emails of that person who bought a specific product which they give you, download it on Excel, and then upload it back into your autoresponder in that specific niche. So you could do that like every week or every month. If you have a hat seller that's crushing it every week, you can download the data every week or you can download it every month and then upload it. And that's how you're gonna be able to separate, segment your list. But if you're doing a niche store and it's all for cap, hey, you don't even have to worry about that stuff. You just download the whole list, 
or you can just leave it, um, use any other app and, and you're good to go. But anyway guys, if you do find value in this video, please like it, share it. Let me know what you think below. Leave a comment down below. I keep doing those tips video every now and then. Uh, not every now and then, every week, all right, to give you guys more value inside of Ecom. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click and subscribe. Here's one thing, next week, okay, I'm gonna be talking about this. This is a product in my hand. Believe it or not, I'm not showing it directly next week. I'll show you this product that made over $100,000. This one product, one little simple product that you would not even think of. Um, one of the crazy things, some people that watch my channel, they say, Kata, you are dumb. Why do you share your products with other people? Why do you let people see your products? You know, I, I believe, man, we all can win. I've already made a killing. If I can share it with someone else, that they can actually go out there and start getting things crank up for themselves and start making their first $100. Start making the first thousand dollars. I believe you can make such a powerful difference. That's what we're here for. But anyway, guys, I always cater. If you do like this video, like it, share it, leave a comment below. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Pound out. Pow! So pound out for watching this video. Pow! Pow! So